A very warm welcome again to all our airsidetv.com viewers right around the world. Uh, I'm Paul Brennan, Arturo Weiss with me again. We're here at Air Venture 2003, the beautiful, warm, sunny climate of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, at Whitman Regional Airport. And Arturo, last year we were here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the EAA, the organization who operates and runs uh, Air Venture. Uh, this time around, we're here for the 100th anniversary of Powered Flight. It just keeps getting better. It sure does. 100 years of Powered Flight. As you mentioned, back in 1903, the Wright brothers uh, lifted off for the first time on the powered aircraft in Kitty Hawk, and here we are uh, celebrating those innovations and everything else since then. And the EA has become uh, really partnered up with Microsoft and Ford to uh, have an official program called Countdown to Kitty Hawk, and there's a pavilion that's on the site celebrating all the innovations in history so far. And uh, to kick off our coverage, we're going to bring some some uh, very good uh, highlights uh, from the announcement this morning as part of the Countdown to Kitty Hawk. Uh, Tell our viewers about that. Well, Scott Crossfield, and many of you may remember that name from being the gentleman that flew the X-15 many years ago. He's actually the one in charge of flight training and, and safety and so forth for the historic flight in December. So he selected four pilots to train to fly the Wright Flyer replica. And out of those four today, two of those were announced to be the actual pilots that will be flying in December. The other two will serve as a backup crew. Uh, so that was the first time these names were actually publicly announced. And we actually had a chance to speak with Mr. Crossfield, so he's going to tell us a little bit about what's involved with this uh, really unique training program. And also our chair chatted with Tom Pobereski, the uh, head of the EAA, and uh, we'll bring you uh, complete highlights too of some of the speeches made as part of that event. Uh, and that just kicks off uh, this, uh, what, five, six days of coverage. Uh, also here, uh, um, amongst all the airplanes that, uh, that turn up here, we've got some real beauties. Tell us about those. Beauties indeed, and unique aircraft is the best way to say it. Uh, the uh, Airbus Beluga, which is about one of four or five in the fleet right now, is used to uh, carry different aircraft parts, fuselages, wings, and so forth, between the Airbus facilities in France and Germany and the U.K. Well, that one of those Beluga aircraft are right here in the aerosol square ramp. Uh, if that wasn't enough, Orbis uh, DC-10, which is a basically a flying hospital, if you will, is out here as well, and we're going to have a chance later on in the week to look inside of that aircraft. And then to top things off, uh, among many other aircraft, NASA brought out two of their F-15s F uh, using the uh, Elastic Wing uh, project. So that's uh, quite interesting to look at. And really, there's so many more, and it's hard to really bring them all down. But uh, that's just a taste of what's to come on the static display area. So make sure you, uh, you, you pay your $10 and get uh, your... Uh, 10 days access, which will include six daily up to one hour highlights packages. Plus, of course, you're able to view uh, last year's Week in Review two hour highlights package. And uh, you'll have that access for a week after the show. And uh, believe me, you're going to see, see some great coverage, uh, as well as uh, the flying displays, the static displays. We'll be talking to exhibitors. There'll be more famous names that we'll be talking to. All sorts of things are going to happen. And in your hot little hand, we have... Um, the, the latest offering from Microsoft. Yes, among the uh, great footage that the paper viewers are going to enjoy, you're going to have a chance to win one of these uh, brand new, just released FS2, uh, Flight Simulator 2004 video games. I really hesitate to call it a game. It's much more than that. but I don't think they'd like you to call it a yeah, game. Yeah, really. A lot of people do, and really it isn't. It's a flight simulator. It's a lifestyle. It is. Uh, talk to my wife about it. <laughs> <laughs> and our friends at Absom and some of the other flight simulators out there know exactly what we're talking about. But uh, they just released this yesterday, so really a lot of people haven't even had a chance to look at it. Well, a select group of our pay-per-view uh, viewers are going to have a chance to receive one of these in the mail. And this is a collector's edition tin box, which contains the uh, flight sim uh, uh, software, and it really is a just without even opening the package, it's fantastic looking. And the game's even better. So some of those names will be announced by actually a group uh, or the team of the uh, Microsoft Engineering Group. Uh, that will also be later so It's on. like one of those ads, but wait, there's more, <laughs> yes. Exactly. The, uh, the, uh, we'll be talking to the Microsoft team about FS 2004 a bit later on in our show coverage, and they'll be drawing uh, the uh, winners' names, and uh, then, of course, we'll be sending off the, uh, the well, I won't call it a game, the, uh, uh, the number one PC simulation product in the world to them. So well, we've got a, a great week to look forward to. We hope that uh, you can stay with us th through the week and uh, enjoy AirsideTV.com's coverage of AirVenture 2003 from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This December, EAA's Countdown to Kitty Hawk program will culminate with the historic recreation of the Wright Brothers' first powered flight. 
SITV.com gives you a front row seat to the opening day media event at Air Venture, which officially announced the identity of the two pilots selected to fly the Wright Flyer replica over the sand dunes of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Speaking before a large gathering of VIPs, guests and journalists, EAA President Tom Poberezny emphasized the hard work and planning this enormous undertaking has required. This has been a long journey for EAA, five years in the making. I can tell you recreating history can be a challenge almost as much as creating it back in 1903. But we're inspired by the Wright brothers. All of us want to tell their story and reinforce to aviation enthusiasts and the world the importance of flight. I'm pleased to introduce the next person who is also an innovator. Vern Rayburn is an EA member and integral part of EA's Countdown to Kitty Hawk team. Please welcome Vern Rayburn, CEO and President of Eclipse Aviation. Good morning. I'd like to start by saying a couple of things that oftentimes we don't take time to say. You know, it's, it's sort of like that last, I love you, you tell your spouse just as you go to sleep. I want to say today that Eclipse Aviation and myself personally are extraordinarily proud to be a co-sponsor of the Countdown to Kitty Hawk. It's an event, it's a process, it's an endeavor that we think is extremely, extremely important. And I think even more importantly for Eclipse, we're honored to be co-sponsored with such a great group of companies. And in fact, under that category of sort of five degrees of separation, it's fascinating the relationships that we share. Uh, the chairman of Eclipse Aviation is Red Poling, who's the retired chairman and CEO of Ford Motor Company. I started my career at Microsoft as the 18th employee. In fact, for years, the end number on the packaging of the Microsoft Flight Simulator was my airplane. And Northrop Grumman, chairman and recently retired CEO, Kent Kress, is on the board of directors at Eclipse Aviation. So we're delighted to be among such wonderful companies who are all committed to recounting, to sharing with the world what the Wright brothers did. As Tom said, innovation was one of the key components of what the Wright brothers did. They battled skeptics. They had thick skins. And they had commitment. Commitment to do what they said they were going to do to prove that it could be done. Unfortunately, I'm afraid to say that the state of innovation in aviation today is in not very good shape. I mean, airliners, more and more of the innovation is just about how to become good, intimate friends with 600 of your newest friends. Speed, it's a tragedy that at the end of this year, at the end of the hundred, first 100 years of flight, we'll be going slower than we ever have before with the retirement of the Concorde. Yet here at Oshkosh, here at Air Venture, all you have to do is walk five feet and turn right and you'll see innovation. And walk another five feet and turn left and you'll see more innovation. Because this is the hallmark, this is the citadel, this is the place of innovation in aviation today. And that's why Eclipse is involved in the countdown to Kitty Hawk. Because we want to share the joy of innovation. As the sponsor of the ten greatest innovations in aviation, we have endeavored to show people that innovation is the basis. Innovation is what has driven aviation for a hundred years. It's fascinating that we've already had over nearly 8,000 people vote on what is the greatest innovation in aviation. And even more fascinating is the fact that the jet engine is leading the Wright brothers by almost 6% right now. So the world is perceiving, we think, that innovation is the engine that drives this. We think Eclipse is bringing innovation into aviation now. Being the uh, leader and the founder of the personal jet segment of the marketplace, we're focusing on innovation in digital electronics and manufacturing and in propulsion. And we hope to offer an economical alternative, a personal alternative, to jet transportation today. 